Today, we're going to revise episode 10 and 11 of the Cybersecurity Lab Building series, where I showed you how to deploy the Hive, Cortex, and MISP using Docker containers and how to integrate these services. Since the last videos, there have been a few changes to the way this is deployed, and the purpose of this video is to bring everyone up to speed and to set the stage for future additions to this lab building series. Let's get started. I've had a few people reach out to me with various questions or issues they had while attempting to follow episode 10 and 11 of the series. So I decided to follow my own tutorial and make the necessary updates to the Docker Compose deployment to put us all on the same page moving forward with the lab series. The first change I made was to upgrade the host operating system to Ubuntu Server 2204 LTS. Previously, we were using 2004, I completed the standard installation process and installed Docker on the server. At this stage, I assume you have your server running with Docker installed. If you got to this video and you want to learn more about the Hive, Cortex and MISP, including a breakdown of Docker Compose, please watch the first 15 minutes of episode 10. If you want to see how to set up and use Docker Compose, follow episode 10 from 15 minutes onwards. This is the updated docker-compose.yaml file that I created. I've uploaded it to GitHub, the link is in the description. The changes are fairly minor. I've included comments at sections in the file explaining the changes. The two main notable changes is where I omitted the Cortex integration configuration because we no longer need to do this as the Hive now has a graphical user interface, which is much more convenient. And I'll show you how to set that up shortly. The second notable change was reading this configuration for when we cover setting up Cortex analyzers, which is in this section. I've got quite a bit of commentary here about that. I'll go into more detail about this section in the next video. Basically, what we're going to be doing in that video is configuring virus total and malware bizarre analyzers in Cortex so we can eventually use those services within the Hive. Then other minor changes in here would be I renamed, for example, Cortex. It was originally named Cortex. I've now call, called it Cortex.local. And the reason for this is because when we set this up in the graphical user interface, it needs a fully qualified domain name in order for it to work. I had to do that for both Cortex and for misp.local as we can see over here. At this stage, I assume you've spun up your Docker containers using the new Docker Compose file. If you're unsure how to do this, check out episode 10. In episode 11, I showed you how to set up the user accounts, the organizations and the API keys for both MISP and Cortex. If you're unfamiliar with this process, check out the first 15 minutes of episode 11 as you will need your API keys in the next step. And once you've done that, check out episode 11 from 28 minutes onwards to set up the Hive user account and organization. As I briefly mentioned earlier, in the previous videos, we had to integrate Cortex and MISP with the Hive by editing the application.con file that the Hive uses. This has fortunately been made a lot easier as we can now use the GUI to complete this configuration. To complete this integration, you're going to need to log into the Hive using the default admin account. The login details were admin at the hive.local and the password was secret. And then you're going to come over to the platform management menu option and you'll be presented with a page that looks like this. I've already integrated my MISP and Cortex servers as you can see over here. If you're doing this from scratch you will go to Cortex and you will add a server and it'll give you a menu that looks something similar to this and you simply give it a name and then the server URL is going to be as you see it over here using the cortex.local and the port is 9001. This is that fully qualified domain name that I mentioned earlier that we needed to incorporate into our Docker Compose config as part of the changes. And then if you followed the previous video where I showed you how to set up the API keys, this is where you're gonna be putting your Cortex API key that you created. 
all the other settings you can just leave as default and you will then have an option below here just to apply this once you've made those changes and then we're going to head over to MISP it's the same kind of page you would add your server by clicking on this little add button and you'll have a very similar menu that will be displayed once again giving it a server name and in this case the server url which is https misp.local this is running in my case on port 80 and 443 so there's no need to include the ports here and then with the api key once again from the previous video if you followed that you will have your api key created and you'll put this api key in here and then for our purpose we're just going to select import and export we don't have any proxy settings and we are then going to check the do not check certificate authority and in this case here we're just going to leave this default for advanced settings for now but this is if you have any particular tags that you would like to bring in from MISP and you'll click apply and if we go to our license page you'll then notice now that you should have MISP one of one and Cortex one of one configured and to another way of confirming that the services are running if you look at the bottom left hand side you'll see these icons for Cortex and for MISP they'll have a green color around them this just shows that the service is active and that it's synchronized correctly if you had any issues uh, you will have these icons displaying a, a red color around them at this point i think everybody should be on the same page and ready to progress with the cortex analyzer setup that i'll be covering in the next video if you've made it this far thanks for watching and if you find my content valuable please consider liking and subscribing because the festive season is around the corner as a gift, I've included a fully built and functional virtual box, virtual machine of this lab. You'll simply need to just import the .ova file into VirtualBox, and I will include the link in GitHub. I do strongly encourage that you attempt the setup yourself. Struggling along and figuring out how to set up, configure, and troubleshoot systems is all part of the game, and it'll be beneficial to the learning process. If you feel like less of a challenge, the VM I provided is configured to a point just before where we start with the Cortex and MISP integrations. So hopefully this helps you out a bit. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.